Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S and iPad 2 on a Windows computer using a new program called Synject. This is going to be a little harder than what you're used to because it's not like Red Snow or like the app since I showed you yesterday. You actually have to type in all the commands on your own into command prompt. So let's get right into the jailbreak. So what you're first off going to do is you're going to go into your C drive. You can get there by clicking computer on your start tab and then clicking the C, C drive up on the top left. And then you're going to get your Synject folder wherever it may be on your desktop documents or wherever and you're going to drag it right into your C drive. Make sure it's not the zip folder, it's the unzip folder. And after that, open up your command prompt and we're going to type in some commands. So first off, type in cd space backslash and then you can go ahead and you can type in cd space synject underscore zero dot four dot three and you can go ahead and click enter and then you can type in synject space slash i space payloads slash jailbreak dot mobile config and then you can go ahead and you can click enter and then we're going to bring things over to our iPhone or our iPad. And once we're on there, you're going to see something that says install profile. It should pop up. You're going to click install and then in the pop up, click install now. And then you should be brought to a page asking for a password. There is no password actually needed. So go ahead and click next and it will install the profile onto your iPhone or iPad. And after that, we're going to go back onto our computer here. And we're going to type in some more commands. Our first command, you're going to type in synject space slash j and then payloads. And after that's done, click enter and it's going to say stuff about finding a slide. And after that, it should say stuff about uploading Corona. Mine says um, this other stuff because I'm actually using an iPod Touch, which is not an A4 device. So now let's go on to our next step, and you're going to type in the last step, synject.exe-w, if you didn't see that. And after you do that, you can bring things over to your iPod Touch, go into your general tab, and go into your network settings, and click on VPN. Once you're in VPN, you're going to want to swipe VPN on, and that's when you're going to wait for a pop-up. It should give you an error, which is good. And there we go. We get a VPN connection error. And then our device should turn off. It should look like this. And that means we're good to go. Once your device reboots, you should have Cydia, and you're all done. It's just as easy as that. So if you guys had any problems during this guide, if you didn't understand anything or you missed a command, then in the description below, I will have a full out text guide on how to do this. So check that out if you have any problems. And also, if you got any errors, I will also include all the error fixes in the description below. So check that out. And I am sorry for the lack of not having an iPhone 4S or iPad 2, but I think I did a good job at showing you how to jailbreak your device anyways. So for more videos like this, and other tech related stuff make sure to subscribe remember to like the video if this helped you and leave a comment if you're still having any problems and i will see you guys in the next one